let's talk about goal setting. I know it's like kind of intimidating almost, like every new year it's like, all right, you have to come up with a new year's resolution and all that. So I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how to set your new year's resolutions, how to set goals and set yourself up to failure and actually hit those goals. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go over some notes in my phone because I have lots I wanna share with you. And pretty much because I did this last year and I literally hit every goal I set for myself last year. So at the end of this video, I'll go over the re recap of my goals, but it was insane. So this is the exact formula I did used and I'm gonna do it this year too. Worked out so well. So first one I want you to do is write your goals down. Write them in your phone. You could use a notebook. Just get like this was I think from Target like maybe even Marshalls, a dollar notebook. And, or I have this passion planner, which this I absolutely love. I'm really gonna keep referring back to this passion planner because honestly, it helped me so much, but you don't need one of these to do what I am explaining. So first you wanna dream big, and that's what it says in here, your roadmap. So I'm like reading it off of this book, but just, write down all your short term, your long term, whatever your goals are, no matter how unattainable you think, or you may think like that's so unrealistic. I don't care, write it down. If it's a goal, if it's something you want, write it down. Something so small to write it down. And then you wanna break down them. So this really helped me to learn how to break them down. So what I do now is I like to break down my goals into quarters. Now there's 12 months out of the year. So if you break the 12 months into quarters, that's three months. So every three months you want to do start new habits and create things to work towards those goals. So what I want you to do is once you have your big goals written down, everything you want to accomplish, visualize it, you know, feel like you're gonna get it. Then I want you to write down your three month plan. Just map it out. Like what can you do to help you get a little bit closer to that goal? And that's all I want you to write down. Say for example, for me, I'm into social media. So this year, one of my goals is to hit 200,000 followers on Instagram. So what am I gonna do that can get me closer to that goal for these next three months? Well, I can make it a priority for these next three months to post one thing every single day. And I can also spend at least one hour a day engaging with other accounts, talking, making connections. So that's what I could do for the next three months. And is it gonna, am I gonna hit my goal to that 200,000 doing that in the next three months? Probably not, but is it gonna get me one step closer? Yes. Another example, because I don't wanna just use me. So say a lot of people for the new year, they have weight loss goals. So say your goal is to lose 20 pounds this year. And that's like the end goal. So for these next three months, don't aim to hit losing those 20 pounds. Instead, aim to like doing things and creating habits that are gonna get you to those to that goal. Or say, for example, your goal was weight loss. So say the goal for this year is to lose 20 pounds. Like by 2024, you wanna be 20 pounds less than you are now. Just an example. So yeah, that's a realistic goal for you, probably, depending on your body size. So what you wanna do for the first three months is break that down. So take the, this quarter, these first three months, and what habits can you start doing to get you one step closer to that goal? Maybe not reach it, but get you one step closer. Can you make sure to hit 7,000 steps a day? Can you make sure to drink two big bottles of water a day? Something like this, this is 50 ounces. And then just say that those are your goals for the next three months. You could pick two, you pick three, whatever you feel like you can actually do and achieve. So what I want you to do is do those. And then after those three months and you're like, hey, I did that, like I'm getting closer, I'm feeling good, then pick other things that could bring you closer to your goals. So after the first quarter, maybe in the second quarter, you're like, I'm ready to start working out now. I'm gonna work out three to four days a week. Just set it so like something you could accomplish. I'm gonna do strength training or I'm gonna find an exercise class I like and whatever it is, commit to it. If you're gonna say, I'm gonna do three days a week, do those three, if you six, go above it, great, but do those three days a week for the next three months and it's almost like that habit stacking because now you are already drinking your water, you're already tracking your steps, now you're adding in working out three days a week. So in the long run, each of these things are getting you closer to your goal of weight loss, but it's an attainable way of doing it. So I just love looking at it like that. And I like reflecting back. So I do use this a lot or this idea a lot. Like 
I have my little notes from, this is my own from last year, so I have all my notes. But I do like taking the time after those three months to reflect back and say like, okay, I said I was gonna hit 7,000 steps a day and I only hit 6,000. So like, I need to still focus on that goal until I hit it. So don't beat yourself up. Just make sure you could do these things. And then like, even something as little as that, like, okay, what can I do to make sure I'm hitting 7,000 steps? Can I take three 10 minute walks a day? Like on my lunch break, before my kids wake up, after dinner. So do things like that. I really find that's a great way to set your goals. And then it's just great to every quarter to like go back and reflect because a lot of times we have so much motivation in the beginning of the year where we're like, okay, like I wanna lose weight or I wanna like achieve whatever. And you're so gun ho for it. And then two months go by and now it's like end of February, March, and you kind of like, forget about it. And then you look back next year and you're like, wait, what happened? So I highly suggest whether you have a note like this, a notebook, notes in your phone, write them down so you can go back to it. We have so much going on, you're most likely gonna forget. So then another thing I like to do for setting goals is creating vision boards. Now, for a while I was so stuck on vision boards because I always thought like, and I used to, I've been doing these for, <laughs> for a while, but I used to always think like I had to get uh, poster paper and print things out. And I did used to do that and I'd put it on my wall, but you don't have to do that. Now what I like to do is I like to create Pinterest boards. So I go, I'm gonna pull up my Pinterest. So it's just easier for me because I do a lot on my phone and sometimes I do still like, like there's nothing better than having like a physical hard copy. So if you wanna do that, there's so much fun to make. You could even have your girlfriends over and say like, hey, we're gonna have a, like a vision board making night or do it on your own, whatever you feel comfortable with. Cut out magazine pictures, go on Pinterest, print things out. But what I like to do with mine is I will show you on my Pinterest, I create a, I make it private because it's for me, like it's my goals. So I make it private and whatever you feel comfortable with, but it's my vision board. So I just have like all my things here. I pin pictures, I pin ideas. And for example, like one of the things I pinned was like, I wanted this kitchen, like the white cabinets with the gold. I got it. <laughs> um, so things like that, like I, you just put them and they're things that way you can, with vision boards, the best thing about them is you can go back and visually see it. And I've read the book, The Secret and all that. I don't know too much about it, but I truly believe when you like picture yourself in your mind already having it and knowing like it's gonna come to you some way or another, it does work out. Like, I don't know what it is, but I do really believe in that. What is it, is it called manifest, manifesting? But whatever it is, I truly believe like when you visualize it and already feel like you have it, it works out. But also I truly believe being thankful for what you already have. Like don't put this on your board and be like, oh, I'm never gonna get a kitchen like that. Or like, that's so unrealistic. Like put it on there and be like, I can't wait to one day have that kitchen. And like picture yourself in that kitchen. Like I pictured myself in this kitchen with my daughter baking and doing cute things. And I'm like, now I have it. And then once you get it, like be proud, be happy, be excited. Like that's freaking amazing. Like all these small little things. Well, this is a big one, that's a freaking kitchen but they wind up to being something big. So like another thing I put for myself was to um, succeed, to grow on Instagram. Literally, this was one that's on my board and my goal for 2022 was to be, have 100,000 followers on Instagram. I put it on this board beginning of the year. I don't know if you can see that. Guess what? I surpassed that. Like, so it could be like that to some they might be like that is such a stupid goal but to me it's what i wanted it's my career now like that's what i wanted so don't be embarrassed whatever you want put on that board it's for you to see it's for you to visualize it's for you to work to so i find these vision boards are really great the funny thing is i was going through this the other day because i have a vision board from 2016 and in 2016 i was at a really low place in my life i was going through a bad breakup i was just not happy. I've moved back home with my parents. They had a mother daughter, so I was already, but regardless, like I didn't have a place of my own. I was single, like a single mom. And there were just so many things I wanted. So I made a vision board and honestly, a lot of it, like part of it, I was just like, Oh, maybe if I like put like to like some of it, I was like, maybe I'll get back with my ex. Cause I wanted to like, I wanted marriage. I wanted kids. Um, and I just felt like when we, when we broke up, I was just like, great. I'm like, one step behind now like that didn't work out like now i'm getting closer to 30 years old this was 2016. so i made this vision board regardless 
And it's so funny because the things I've put on it were like, one was a trip to Italy. I'm trying to find them all. One was a trip to Italy. <laughs> one was a baby girl. Um, so I put these things on this vision board. It was to have my own home in the town I currently live in. It was to go to Italy. It was to get married. It was to have my dream wedding ring, which is rose gold. It's literally what I have on my finger, but it's funny. And then it was a baby girl um, trip to Italy, home, rose gold, to just like have all that. And then I put ha happy, healthy relationship. Now, no, it did not end up working out with my ex. So like you have to kind of like, I was kind of upset because that's what I was like holding onto so tight that when I finally like let go of that, and allowed myself to have something else come in my life, that's when I met my now husband who like, thank the Lord, like that was the best thing. So when I met him, when he came into my life, I was just like, oh my God, this just feels right. Like it was by far the healthiest relationship I've ever been in. He treated me like an absolute princess. And it's so funny because everything on that vision board I had in 2016 came true with my husband. Like we ended up, he ended up proposing with the ring of my dreams. I ended up moving in with him. Um, and then it wasn't until this year that we redid the home into his home in my dream town to live in. And we ended up taking a honeymoon to Italy, which was just crazy. And then we got pregnant with our own little girl. So it's just like some of those things that I put on those boards, I was like, yeah, right, this will never happen. But I just kind of like, I left it there. Like I left it there. It didn't happen in 2016, didn't happen in 2017, 2018, but eventually they happened. And looking back, I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so crazy. Everything on my vision board happened. So I highly suggest writing those things down and reflecting back like i'm so happy that i wrote it down and i could look back and be like wow i accomplished all of those things and then even 2021 it's crazy for me to look back and see like well 2021 i wrote it down and then into 2022 like my goals i had to accomplish for 2022 yeah for 2022 writing down those goals it's crazy for me to see like i will pop some on the screen like i have a little timestamp too and it's just insane just wait till you see them like i had goals of these are my personal goals like becoming an influencer was one thing that i really wanted to do and achieve so i said i want to hit 100,000 followers on instagram 200,000 on youtube i will put up 200,000 on tiktok um at least a thousand on youtube and be monetized on youtube and all of that and i wrote those goals and i put them on my vision board i did my little map of like breaking it down, like posting every single day on these channels, engaging with others, like things I could do to work towards. And one of my biggest goals for 2022 was to quit my job and do this full time. And here I am in 2023 doing this full time. So it's crazy. These things, like things may seem unreal, like that never seemed realistic to me. Things may seem unrealistic to you, but they're not like get excited, make a game plan. If something doesn't work out, don't have resistance towards it. Just know that like, maybe that was not the right time. Maybe you just have to like loosen your grip and like put it out into the universe, let it go. And just know that like, maybe it's coming at the right time or maybe something better for you that's gonna get you to your biggest goal will happen. So I am super excited, like write down your goals, put dates on it, like keep them, don't throw them away. Don't get frustrated if like something doesn't happen, don't rip it up and throw it away, just keep it. Like just keep it and then reflect back because it's honestly so cool to see. So I am so excited for the new year. I'm so excited for you to hit all your goals and just it's exciting.